It is I, Harmony. And Brandon. And today we have something amazing to show you guys. I say that in like every intro because everything's amazing. This is vaping. Yeah! Anyway. <laughs> today we have this nifty little thingamajiggy from Carolina e -cig. It's the Carolina Ego. And we have a juice to go with it as well. They're not from the same company, but I'll explain momentarily. The juice that we are going to be reviewing is Nicobine. And I thought I would review the starter kit and Nicobine together because their company is specifically for starter kits. They want to bring in people who haven't tried vaping. And since that's kind of their angle, I figured it'd be a good pair. What do you think? Yeah, I think it'd be a good pair. Why not? Mm -hmm. We'll give it a shot. All right, we have five flavors to review from Nicobine. They're like a new company starting out, but they have this whole like big business type approach to it. I mean, it's kind of crazy. It's it's pretty big. I'll give it to them. They they did a pretty good thing with their whole like business yeah. thing. They really really did. We're not gonna talk a lot about that. We're just gonna get right to the review. Yes. All right. Oh, and um, we will be dripping Nicobine as well because it can be used for more advanced setups. So I'll be using my Eve. And I'll be using the Hexone version 2, donated to us by our friends at Skull and Roses with the Derringer RDA. And uh, let's just say this little thing chucks it. I just felt like using it. It's good for flavor and clouds, and we're doing a lot of flavor stuff, so All right. why not use a flavor RDA for flavor? Very true. All okay, right. so the Carolina Ego is a, comes in a really cool little package, actually. That is where the setup goes. It has the tank with it. It comes with the tank. And then it comes with the charger, which is back here. And there is that. Just plug that into any sort of wall charger and screw the battery onto here. I will break that down and show you in a minute for all of you who haven't tried baking. All right, let's 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 see how this does. All right, what flavor do you have on there? Because I have breakfast blend. Okay, I have on here. I have uh, the citrus. We'll, we'll wait to do the citrus in a minute. No, I just want to try out the starter thing first. See how it works in the starter. Oh, thing. okay. My yeah. bad. All My right. bad, guys. It's not too bad. It's weird using one of these things after using an advanced setup for so long. This is definitely intended for a lot of mouth to lung hitters. It's not really a lung hitting device. No, it is not. <laughs> none, of, none of these little ego setups are straight lung hits. They're all mouth to lung, so let me go ahead and give this a shot. Yep, that's an ego, all right. Get yeah, decent cloud, decent flavor. Oh, um, look at that. They got a neat little engraving on their little button. I don't know if you can really see that. Let me try to get the shadowing. God, wow, it's really shiny. All right, there we go. That's a good one. See that little, it looks like a little dragon. It's a Let little, me see. It's a little dragon. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Yep. It does not, it doesn't twist or anything. It's, it is what it is. It's very sleek. It fits in your hand nice. Very, very easy to hold. You can turn it, you can flip it, do whatever you want with it. Just vape it. it that is, is a, the main purpose. It is a 1100 milliamp hour battery. And the clear miser on it is the Kanker Tech T2 clear miser. So, yeah. I think it's a neat little setup for beginners. That's pretty neat. We haven't reviewed a beginner setup yet. Or a beginner server. Beginner server. We haven't reviewed a beginner setup <laughs> yet. So, I'd say this one definitely takes the cake because this is the only beginner setup we have oh, reviewed. Yeah. And uh, Nicobine works really well on it. It's a de decent flavor and it wicks really fast. Usually when you put a flavor in, it takes a few minutes to wick. You put the flavor in there, uh, just on it a few times, you know, suck on it a few times and uh, prime it the is, coils yeah, prime, and... prime the coils and it, it's wicked. I like it. It's pretty neat. Five click on and off. See? One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. You click that about eight times. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just but, did. Yeah, it's... Oh, wow. The magnets are so... <laughs> let me just go ahead and touch on this. I know this is random, but the magnets are really strong in this box, and so my pair of scissors is just latched so onto that. That's kind of terrifying. Take that off there. Yeah, just put, put those... Get everything metal there. off there. All right, now let's get to the juice. So, All right. as I said, I will be using my, my e-leaf. And I'll be using the Hexone version 2 in the Praxis. And shout out to J-Raps for giving me this. Look at that. It's a neat little thing with Jiggy. I don't have it on the top part simply because I didn't want juice to mess it up. I'm kind of juicy, so I get juice like everywhere on my mod. 
All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So you said you have what on there? Ooh. Breakfast blend. And let's go ahead and read the flavor profile on that one. All right, so breakfast blend, the perfect beginning to any morning. This or er, the breakfast blend's complex fusion of grain, milk, and fruit provide a fresh start for the day. All I'm thinking right now is Cheerios with bananas in it. When I hear grain and fruit, I don't know. or maybe like toast and I don't know. Just I like Cheerios. It's a with breakfast bananas. thing. Tell Take us, do you guys like Cheerios with bananas? What's your favorite cereal? Let us know. But you ready for this? Yes, I am. Let's give this one a shot. All right. That's not bad. That's I'm not, not gonna bad. lie, that's not bad. Kind of tastes like a granola bar to me. Yeah, it does. It tastes more granola than that's I guess cereal. That's cool. Okay, so when I was talking to these guys, just heads up for anyone that's going to check this company out, they are like very, very enthusiastic about what they are doing. It is. I was over there talking to them for about an hour and a half. Uh, and it wasn't a bad conversation. They, you know, great eye contact, just boom, right to the point. It was awesome. They told me about how they make this, and they blend it really, really well together so that there's not a, not a flavor on the inhale or the exhale. It's just like smooth flavor all the way through. And with all of these that I have tested, that seems to be the case. It's really, really smooth flavor, inhale and exhale. It's just, it's, it's pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, I think they did all right with their business approach. I mean, it was really professional. I'm not gonna lie; it's not just like, "Hey, dude, man, try our vaping device." Man. No, they, like, these guys wore suits. They had a car sitting there. They had a Ferrari, actually. Yeah. So. It was neat. <laughs> they were top notch. So. They were very, very nice. Firm handshakes, which I like. I like that. Shake a lady's hand. Very professional. All right, now let's try it. Switch it up. I really like the little derringer. It's a good flavor. Not gonna lie, I t it tastes really good. On yours, I don't taste so much of a granola bar. I taste more of like the the straight grains, kind of like, kind of like oatmeal a little bit. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, so hotter I taste oatmeal, cooler I taste granola bar. So if you're into that kind of stuff, then this would most likely be the flavor for you. This definitely tastes like a breakfast, though. It does. If we're, if we're awake in the morning to eat breakfast. I know, course. right? We sleep in all the time. We woke up not too long ago, which is why my hair is absolutely ridiculous. And also why we post most of our reviews at 3 in the morning. <laughs> Alright, so this next flavor that we're going to try, we'll just go down the line of what we got. We'll just do that. Yeah. Alright, it's citrus, and it is a crisp combination of orange, tangerine, and key lime that is sure to leave you smiling and refreshed. Let's see if it can make Brandon smile. Let's see if it can do that. All right, let's see. Where is it? You have it? Yep. You need it. Give me it. Give me it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sorry if this video is a little bit awkward. It kind of has an awkward feel to me. I don't know about you. A little bit. A little We're just bit. really, uh, I, th I like to think of it as you're the hyper and I'm the kind of just like, keep it down type of dude. <laughs> keep it down. But What movie was that from? Neighbors? Yep. Yeah, if you guys haven't watched Neighbors, it's freaking hysterical. Go look at it. All right, you ready? What neck is that? That's six, right? <coughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that is... Ooh, that's strong neck. Definitely would taste better to me on a three, but I'm definitely I like getting it. the orange and the key lime out of it. Not so much the tangerine, though. I get a tangerine. I get orange, lime, and tangerine. But it is a definite citrus blend. This it, it kind of tastes like Sunny D to me. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah it does. I like that. It's I got like that Sunny D sunny. feel to it. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it just it would taste better to me in a lower neck. Yeah, in a lower neck. I think we have it in zero somewhere, but yeah, mm, somewhere. <laughs> it's good though. We literally have a toolbox full of juice that we have to review, so we kind of have to. We have it somewhat organized, as organized as we can get it, but it's still kind of a kind of a train wreck. <laughs> But yeah, citrus is pretty good. It is. I like it. That's Let's try it. Let's switch it up. Yeah, we'll switch up switch setups. It, That's switch interesting. It, switch it. Ah. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah, it's good on both setups. Yes, yes it is. It that doesn't is. taste the same on both setups, however. To me, I taste more orange on the warmer. It just brings out that orange and uh, citrus flavor. And um, on this one, it tastes like Sunny Delight. By the way, the reason I am looking down most of the review is because I got the flavor profile in my hands, so I'm kind of like looking down and reading it to you guys. So, 
Just think of it as I'm watching everything that you comment in the comment section. We'll do that. Oh, yes. All right. Thank you to everybody that comments, by the way. In uh, our last video, I asked you guys how you were, and a couple of you answered. And then somebody told us that we were awesome. So, <laughs> you're awesome, and I'm glad that you're having a nice day. Again, juice rags are amazing to have. Yes, they are. When you are a dripper. I keep forgetting that we have a juice rag, and I keep like using the blanket on our bed. All right, let's give Classic a try. Our Classic blend embodies a pure tobacco taste from a combination of Virginia flu cured tobacco and Turkish tobacco blends. A truly refined experience delivering sweet notes of caramel and butterscotch with an amazing smooth finish. I'm not too much of a tobacco fan. Me so either, but you know what? We sh this, sh this should be interesting. It should. I'm stuttering a lot today, you guys. What up with well, that? Well, actually, the only tobacco that I'm looking for is a black and mild, a wine wood tip black and mild imitation. If anybody has that, please let me know in the comments or just let me know in general. I would love to know. I'm really looking for one of those. I don't know. Uh, all the tobacco flavors that I've tried, because I started out when I started vaping on a... This kind of setup. I tried tobacco flavors for a little while, but they just made me want to go back to a cigarette. It tasted the same, but it didn't feel the same to me. So I switched over to uh, oh, dessert nice. type flavors and all that, and then I finally switched over to fruit, and that's kind of what got me hooked. This actually smells like a tobacco. It, it does smell like a tobacco. It smells like a uh, smoke shop kind of. Yeah, it does. You get that smoke shop smell to it. You know, you walk into the tobacco store or something. Alright. Haven't done that in a while, but I'm assuming they still smell the same. Oh yeah, probably. Alright. Ugh, I'm scared. Alright, you ready? Yeah. That actually tastes really good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a tobacco fan, but it's really smooth tobacco. It tastes like tobacco, alright. I don't like tobacco. I really don't. It's not that the flavor isn't good. It's just not on my taste palette, like, at all. And now I have to try hot tobacco. Huh. Yeah. It's it's nasty on your setup to me. It's, uh, it's, it's gross on both setups to me. If you're a fruit person, do not go for this flavor. But if please. you're a tobacco person... You know, give it a try. It's actually, for a tobacco flavor, it tastes like what it says. Which is... It's not a bad flavor. We just personally don't care for it that much. No, not at all, actually. Uh -uh, no, not at all. We have not had one single tobacco flavor to review, and this is the first. <coughs> that wasn't attractive. <laughs> okay, let's see what the next flavor we got for to review. Uh, we have mental or menthol tobacco well, left. Let's save that for last. Yeah. And then we have the hazelnut. All right, hazelnut roast. Hazelnut, coconut, and coffee in perfect harmony. Hey, ah, put your name on it. it. Yeah. Accentuated by hints of French vanilla and sweet tobacco, decadent and smooth, a real flavor or er, a real favorite of our master blender. These guys must have just switched off cigs. They got a lot of tobacco flavors. Yeah, well, I mean, some people like tobacco flavors. Yeah, because most new vapors aim towards tobacco. Yeah. Kind of ease them into it, I guess. These uh, bottles are extremely hard to open. It sounded good up until we got to the tobacco part. So, well, we'll see. This thing will not open. Hold on. You got this. I believe in you. I am so sorry. Ah, haha. -ha. Got it. All. So sorry that took so long. Alright. No, you think hazelnut roast, you think coffee, not tobacco. Mm -hmm. At least I do. It doesn't smell like tobacco. First two flavors are good. The last three are probably going to be a miss. I don't know. Just because well, of we'll, tobacco. We'll give it a shot. I used to smoke Newport, so uh, maybe the menthol tobacco will be a hit. I don't know. We'll find out. You ready? I get more coffee out of that than I do tobacco. Yep. Not that, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Alright, that's good. There's a hint of tobacco, but I, I mostly get coffee. It's like a cigarette dropped in coffee and dried out. <laughs> this is actually pretty good. I get coffee out of that. 
I definitely get the caramel and butterscotch though. Yeah, I get the caramel and butterscotch. I don't get any tobacco out of that. That's I get actually a bit really of good. Off mine. I'll just I actually warn you. like that one. I'm not gonna lie, I like that flavor. On yours, I just get the caramel. I'll be vaping that flavor because it kind of tastes like a wine black and mild to me. A little bit. I'm liking it. All right, that's good. All right, it's finally. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. That's all right. I like that one personally. I like it. It's good. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. So. From what I've gathered, these juices are definitely made for new vapors, like people who are sw are just switching over from cigarettes, because there's a lot of tobacco flavors. And that's what they told us. They're trying to bring in people who have never tried vaping before. Sorry, guys. I have the hiccups. These are good in a tank. It won't clog up anything. It won't crack anything. Sorry, there are children outside if you hear a screech. Yeah. Yep. This is what we hear all day long, every day. They just had to ruin it. Ah, apartment life, huh? Yep. All right. Moving right along. This is the menthol tobacco. Smells like gum. The only thing I have problems with is this damn derringer. It's the fact that there's two parts to it, and that part always comes off. So I have to re-put it on. Oh, it's just annoying. Ooh. How do you get off that? That is menthol tobacco. That's a new port. Ooh. Kind of scared to vape it because I'm not a very big menthol fan. That takes me back. Jeez. Okay, I'm not going to give that one a second hit. <clears throat> I mean, it's... Oh! Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> menthol. Oh. <laughs> menthol. Most definitely a menthol. I get no tobacco, just straight menthol. I do not like that. No. I get a little bit All right, of tobacco. You know, we're not even switching settings for that. <laughs> not not going to injure ourselves. I have to change my cotton. That one is a zero. I do not like it. I I despise it. That is a zero. Uh, Too much menthol, man. It reminds me of a Newport. It really does. Um, but that is some strong menthol. That is some strong menthol right there is what that is. Uh, if you smoke new ports or anything like that, I, I would highly suggest that if you're just switching over. It might taste better in a tank than gripping, but... <laughs> that is too much menthol for me. Whew. I'm not even going to begin to even want to switch setups. Uh, I don't like that. I don't know. Okay. Uh, all right, so that was that that was Nicobine. The first two flavors, okay, last three were a miss for me. Yeah. That's but, actually the first review that we've had that we haven't liked a flavor, so this is kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like the breakfast blend. Well, yeah. That's Not the first an all-day vape, but it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. But this is definitely aimed for you new vapors out there, so definitely go ahead. Flavor check chaser, it out. no. Cloud chaser, no. no. Want to quit smoking? Yes. I mean, they're good flavors. I mean, if you threw all these flavors in the tank and did it, I'm sure it'd be a hell of a lot better. Yeah. But dripping it is... Not, well, a, not a good idea. Not, no. Don't. Don't do that. No, not a good idea. <laughs> just, just warning you. All right, so this has been... Nicobine. The Nicobine and Carolina, Carolina e -Sig. E -Sig. Thank you so much for giving us this little bad boy to review. I love it because it's blue. He let me pick my favorite color, which I thought was awesome. But yeah. All right, that has been our review. Yes, it has. If you want to, or, I mean, I'll link the website to Nicobine in the description if you guys really want to check out any of these flavors at all. I'm sure you tobaccos out, or lovers out there will definitely love the classic or the hazelnut roast. We're just not tobacco fans. We are not. And uh, the breakfast blend and the citrus, we actually like. They're okay. Yeah, those, Not all those day vapes, but good. they're good. Yeah. But we'll definitely link them in the description. Thank you guys out to Nicobine for actually giving us these samples to try. Yes, we're so sorry that we're not tobacco people but um if the people from nicobine are watching this my advice to you for the menthol would be just take it down a couple notches yeah. that that's that is just a little a bit much but every flavor is pretty good it's, yeah, it it's tastes good. like the description most definitely so yeah all right thank you guys this has been our review like us subscribe us comment tell me how you are what's your favorite flavor what do you want us to review next just you know throw it out there all right well thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys have a great day Peace, Peace. out.